in this question, we have multiple things happening to x. So in my attempt to get x by itself equals to some quantity, I have to get rid of two things that are happening. Currently, I'm multiplying x by 2. I'm also adding 2 to x. So to deal with this, I have to, I have to undo both of these operations by, um, by doing the opposite. So let's start here with, uh, let's rewrite this a bit. Let's start with doing the opposite of this. I'm adding 2, so let's minus 2. And I have to do the same thing on both sides to make sure that I don't ruin the fact that this side, 2x plus 2, is equals to negative 10. If I'm going to change one side, I have to change the other side. The positive and the negative 2 will cancel, leaving me just with 2x. And then 10 minus 2 is going to be 8. And now what's happening is that I have 2x is equals to 8. I'm multiplying x. If I divide x, that will undo the multiplication, divide by the same number, but I have to do, to do the same thing on both sides. So these will cancel, leaving me with x is equals to 4. And so my answer here is C.